The ban on the sale of those giant sugary sodas, the subject of so much late night comedy, well, that ban has been put on hold. It was a big public health effort by the mayor of New York to help with obesity. And it was supposed to start tomorrow, but today a judge said not so fast. ABC's Gio Benitez tell us why. Today, on the eve of the nation's first ban on large sugary drinks, New Yorkers were bracing for change. One of the last ones. This is one of the last Enjoy ones. because it's the last day. And businesses were ready. Dunkin' Donuts would have given you the syrup separately, and you would have had to pour it in yourself. Now a stunning reversal. A state judge striking down that ban on sugary drinks larger than 16 ounces. One of the more controversial policies in the battle against obesity. I'm going to just take a little swig off a comically uh, oversized movie theater beverage. It's so hot. Mayor Bloomberg made the ban a health crusade. In one 16-ounce glass of soda, you'll find the equivalent of 27 cubes of sugar. In 51 ounces, 86 cubes. But the judge found the law would be unfair because it would apply to restaurants but not convenience stores and would exclude other beverages that have significantly higher concentrations of sugar, like many lattes. I've got to defend my children and you and everybody else and do what's right to save lives. Obesity kills. Mayor Bloomberg will appeal. Gio Benitez, ABC News, New York.